Welcome to a Master's Touch. Today I wanted to bring you inside my workshop to give you a little tutorial on a faux wrought iron rust effect that I'm working on for these pieces. Here's what it looks like. It's so beautiful, so let's go. So to begin, we're going to give you the list of materials you need. You need Krylon, hammered black hammered, this metallic luster in Ice Espresso, and in Gold Rush. Both of these were from Hobby Lobby. We're going to be working on these legs today to give it this faux effect, so here we go. First of all, you want to start with a little, I guess you would call it kind of a chunky little short bristly brush, a small one because we're going to be doing these fine details. You can see that I've already begun, if it will focus, you can see here I've already begun with some of the um, iced espresso, already fi filling in some of these details. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're doing here. Don't mind me as I move around a little bit. First of all, you're going to go ahead and just get a little bit, not way too much, but just enough. Um, excuse it if it does not decide to focus. Say la vie. We're going to go ahead and start applying it to the edges and just kind of like on the top there just bringing out some of these beautiful curves and details you just kind of want to give it a background color um, then you'll go back add a little bit more on your brush and continue along kind of adding some things to the, the lines here and the curves like i said um, i would even go ahead and do things you know, where there's void space that you kind of want it. And if you want to kind of brush it off with your finger, it helps it to kind of blend in more. So it doesn't look like just stark and painted on. It looks like it was part of the piece originally. Uh, because these are just moldings that I created um, and have adhered to this piece, they're obviously not real wrought iron. And when I had originally thought, you know, hey, maybe I will just, don't mind my mess in the back, it is a workshop, maybe I'll just, uh, you know, paint these black wrought iron and be over it with the hammered black. Yeah, that did not look realistic at all. And because for this piece I'm doing a kind of old you know, world, old world, like windows, um, I wanted to make sure that it looked the part. And so here we are, going ahead and <laughs> rubbing it down, getting it the way I want it, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch to this piece and do the exact same thing, and I'll meet you back in just a minute. So I went ahead and finished up some things on this piece. You see that the base coat is already down. I'm not sure why my camera's not picking up all of this beautiful coloration, but it's there. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and now rinse off your brush, take out your, um, take out your uh, gold luster, the gold rush, and after your brush is cleaned off, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, just load it up very carefully and kind of lightly. Because if you put on too much, it's just super hard to rub off later. Um, now, with the gold, what it is is it's a highlight. So we're just going to go ahead and kiss, just ever so lightly, the beautiful lines and stuff that you really want to pull out. I wouldn't tend to rub it in too much, but if you get a little excess, you can just rub it off. But this is really, really, really going to bring out that rust effect and like the idea of the rust being kind of mature and layered and it gives it kind of like I don't know how to explain that kind of just like um you know layers just levels of rust so there's like your main rust which is like kind of that dark brown dingy color that you got off of the espresso uh iced espresso color and then you have that beautiful goldish colored rust that kind of comes when it keeps being set out a little bit in the rain and elements Excuse me if I'm getting off track with the camera. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it just adds all this beautiful depth. That's the word. It's depth. It's adding all this beautiful depth to the piece. And it's just creating this idea of a real rust effect. Versus just something that's faux or painted on, even though it is. 
But it's amazing how much paint, like if you just, you know, add a little here and add a little there, and this isn't technically paint, but uh, it's amazing how you can make things look ultra-realistic. And that's kind of the beautiful thing about doing it yourself is you can get it just the way you want it. So anyways, as you can see, hopefully it will clear up for us. But as you can see, there's just kisses of this highlight color. Uh, kind of bring it in maybe. Hold on one second. Let me load up the brush just a sec. Kind of bring it in to really pull out that beautiful uh, rust on these lines. Basically, if you're thinking rust, you're going to be thinking you're going to want it kind of in uh, the highlights areas, so any raised areas, you kind of want to add some into shadows along like ridges or um, underbellies. Uh, for this one, for example, where I added the darker espresso color was like on the tips and down in this shadowy area, not too much across the flat surface. And then uh, kind of around, you know, like I said, these. And then in void spaces where it just looks like there would be rust there. So like on the top here, I did some some of it along the bottoms underneath. I did some and so forth. But um, if you get it, just a tip, if you get it where it's just a little too happy, too much happy, you kind of just put a little bit of water on your finger and or whatever you want a brush I guess would work and then you kind of just rub it off you know dry it off a little bit that water just helps to kind of remove some of it kind of like an eraser for this stuff and then you can go back and just add it back in a little bit lighter or not at all if you just got way too much and you just don't want it there at all um, you can just go ahead and tweak it you know so it's not irreversible. Never fear. It's not irreversible if you mess up. It's totally fixable and just don't give up. So I will go ahead in just one second here and switch gears and show you some of the finished pieces over there that I already have done with my beautiful tables. And I'll try to get some closer up visuals of that rust effect for you. So here we are looking in better lighting at some of this rust effect. Isn't it lovely? I didn't know rust could look so pretty, but it just really, really, really finishes these, these tables amazingly. Go ahead and look up at the top. You can see there, I took some of the gold and highlighted these beautiful top middle parts, um, but then I kind of left it as we work with this lighting, I kind of left it more of that darker espresso on the tops here. You know what I'm saying? Adding that those layers. So you have your layer of highlight and you have your layer of depth. It just really, really, really makes it look realistic. And I love it so much. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope that it was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks. Take care. And I'll see you back in my workshop again.